Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve 1 over x plus 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 4 over x equals 5. Um, so when looking at this, the main important thing that I notice is the denominators are the same. So I want to kind of like remind myself what exactly does that mean when my denominators are exactly the same. When my denominators are exactly the same, what that is going to uh, tell me is, you know, I can look at maybe something that's a little bit easier to remember. Well, if I have two fractions with two as the same denominator, then basically all I do is I add my numerators, and I keep my denominator the same. So in this problem, that's going to be the exact same thing. I'm just going to add my denominators, and then I'm going to have at, um, keep the x as my denominator. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So I get 10 over x equals 5. Now again, we're asking for what is the value of x that makes this equation true. So if I had x over 3 equals 5, and I wanted to solve for x, I have to undo. I can't solve for x when it's in the denominator or with the fraction. So I got to get rid of this fraction. Well, I notice my variable is being divided by 3. So to undo divided by 3, I have to multiply by 3. Therefore, I get x equals 15. Now in this case, again, I have to get the x off the bottom. The only way I can get the x off the bottom is to understand that my 10 is being divided by x. So to undo dividing by x, I have to multiply by x. By multiplying, I get 10 equals 5x. Now I have a linear equation that I can undo multiplying by 5 by dividing by 5. Therefore, 2 equals x. Thanks.